Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew and Price here, also known as Altered Zigo. And what we're looking at right now is a source of great vexation for me. For this, my friends, is Fog's supposedly, supposedly, superior enchanting room. Now, as you can see, he's cleaned up the design. He's made it less spirally, like this old one. But... And you know what? I have to say, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You know, it is smaller than my design. But, you know, women say that size doesn't matter. You know, women haven't said that to me, but they, they say it to other guys, right? But you know what's more important than size? Dependability. And yes, yes, my design may not have this fancy retraction system. Wait a minute. What? The, the bookshelves aren't retracting. I'm stepping on the pressure plates. I'm... Uh, oh! What was that? My goodness! That piston, it just went down and came back up. What? No, no. The fog would not put out a design like that. No, no. I mean, in his video, it, it works so well, but here, in reality. So let's see. For me to reset this, I have to go all the way over here across this vast wasteland, this expanse of nothingness, when I could have just gone to this handy, well-placed reset point in the corner. Now, l again, let's focus on the positives. Again, this isn't supposed to be too critical. I do like the design. It's very pretty with these emeralds and the gold and the diamonds. And 30... Sticky pistons? 30 sticky pistons. See? Fog, this is the difference between us. I appreciate the plight of the average working class Minecrafter. The one that doesn't have an infinite supply of slime balls and sticky pistons. The one that's constantly thinking, where is that slime chunk in this world? How can I find it? 30 sticky pistons. 30! Double, double the number of sticky pistons. But, ag again, positives. Positives. Like I said, Fog, incredible design. I love it. It's beautiful. I love how clean everything is. It, it just looks amazing. It, it really does. You did an amazing job of cleaning up this design. Still not retracting. Still not retracting. But I will say something here. You did have a bit of an advantage. Now, admittedly, I did see your video before I posted mine, but I had already built my design when when I saw that, because I was getting ready to post it to Reddit, and then I saw yours, and I was like, oh, look, Fog, I know this guy. Still not retracting. Still not going up. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Oh, there, some went up. Good job. Good job, Pistons. And while we're on the subject of design real quickly, I will say, you say that my design is overly complicated. And I agree. It, it, does, it does compact things a good bit more. There is a good bit more redstone to it. But, but... There is a nice, tangible quality to it. In the sense that, if something goes wrong, you can look at, you know, a circuit and you can say, Oh, look, this repeater goes into here and the delay's wrong, or it has a delay, because there are no delays in mine. I don't know if there are any of yours. It doesn't look like there are. But it doesn't use this black magic that you call bud switches. No, no. It's just good, old-fashioned hard-nosed engineering. That's what it is. N no 
none of this gimmick eh, gimmick tree or gimmickry whatever that word is so back to what I was saying before you did have a slight advantage on this one and I'm willing to concede based on looking at some of the comments that your quote unquote loyal viewers who I'm sure are unbiased in their appreciation for both of our work you know have posted but I don't know. I, I I think that for this to be a fair competition, we're going to have to do this again. And I think either you or your loyal viewers need to come up with a new redstone challenge for us to take on. And this time, let's make it fair. Let's go into it, both of us, on equal terms and be blind going in and just see who comes out with the better design in that circumstance. I think that would be a fair competition. Because I'm willing to concede that your viewers, <coughs> homers, are going to probably select this design based on what I've seen already. And I'm willing to concede that point. However, that said, I think we should go back. Essentially, what I'm doing here to Fog is I am challenging you to a duel. A red stone duel specifically and yes that was a horrible French accent I think it was French anyways uh, European maybe I don't know anyways I, I, I would like to do this again I think I think it could be interesting and uh, you know it just depends are you man enough to take on that kind of challenge not that I'm, you know, not that I'm questioning your masculinity here. I, I, you know, far be it for me to do that. I, I'm above that. But I'm not above your enchanting room when I fall off the edge. But I'm above that. But I'm just saying... I think we should do this again, and I think we should do it on equal terms. And so I'm looking forward to hearing your reply to this challenge. So, I'm going to keep this video short. Because currently, I am greatly vexed. I am filled with vexation. And so, this is Andrew and Price saying good day and good gaming. So, like TNT Dynamite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, don't want to cover that up. Still need to do some enchanting after this, I think. Had to find a good place to store all this TNT. After all, don't want it blowing up the rest of the base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this design. So pretty. So neat. You know, it must have taken Fog forever to make this. I, I mean, how many hours must he have spent on this design? I don't know. as my phone goes off. Well, I'm too busy to answer it because I've got to store all this TNT in this little room. I mean, it's so small. It's not a lot of open area. Just amazing how little TNT you can store in here, really. Oh, a little bit more can hold a little bit more TNT, I think. But I don't want to obscure any of those important pressure plates. Wouldn't want to do that. I mean, they are so useful. So functional. Alright, now that that's done, I think it's time to do some enchanting. Uh-oh. Whoops. Oh, fog! Fog, I'm so sorry! Oh, and look, lava. Because, you know, every good enchanting room should have some lava. Oh, I'm so sorry, Fog. So sorry. 
so terribly sorry. Well, I guess I'll have to uh, use my design, even though it's, you know, not as good as yours, because, well, yours just blew up. Bye.